our challenges to sail from Isla Mujeres, Mexico to Panama, a direct line distance of nearly 800 nautical miles. But there's lots of obstacles in the way, the worst of which are pirates. And to avoid them, we are nearly doubling our track distance. We would sail almost to Jamaica before turning south. This would keep us away from the Nicaraguan banks and islets where they hang out. This means we have to sail 600 miles upwind against the easterly trade winds. Then we have to battle the currents and avoid the shipping. This passage was going to be a tough one. Not looking good again. This is ridiculous every time. I mean, we, it was three o'clock yesterday before we finished checking out, so it wasn't much point leaving. We should have left immediately. <laughs> the wind uh, is okay today, but to tomorrow it's just, just okay, angle wise, and then by about midnight Friday, it's against us. I mean, the, the alternative, you know, so there was a probability we'd have to stop at Cayman's just for two days and wait for the northerly to come back. You know, it just means we're going to be bashing out there two extra days. I mean, I don't think we can make it to the Cayman's at all. to be a real upwind test. Well, I think we're ready. It's nearly 11 o'clock at night. Princess has been cooking food all night. We've dropped the table down. We're sleeping on that now. Uh, I found a bilge pump that wasn't working. I could not fix it yet. It's just too dark, and I, you know, my eyes are not that great in the dark. Anyway, we're gonna have to fix that en route. That's no big deal. Just keep an eye on that. Um, what else? Checked engines. Close the bows, changed awnings. We've got the winter awnings out there now because it's gonna expect, you know, at least windy and uh, maybe even some rain. Clothes. Got our clothes ready for cold, you know, cold nights, especially when the northerlies come, it gets cold. Is that about it? Well, I think we're ready. I don't think we're going to reach Caymans on that angle. It's still fairly light, it's 10... 10 Weather miles. forecasting has never been more accurate than it is today. Saturday, but remember, this is only a forecast. You have to strike a balance somewhere between paralysis by analysis and actually leaving. We could motor into that to get to Caymans. Sunday is when, by lunchtime, the wind drops off. We need to take advantage of the least averse winds to try and make our 600 miles to the east. And then, when the northerly comes, it only lasts two days, but it will get us all the way 
to the turn point. And, and lucky too, because it all goes easterly pretty fast, as they all do. So, uh, yeah, we we got to leave today. This Saturday. is the... Well, Saturday will be over here. passage. Plan, planning. <laughs> And then there's the front coming down Sunday, Monday. But even still, there's not a lot of rain in that. It's, it's mostly over the land. Um, I remember this uh, video of Dallas. They take a you know, samurai <laughs> pepper spray. Yeah. Should we prepare for that? But you know, we can't fly. They've got guns, so it sort of reaches a bit further than a machete. If we try to fight, maybe they will kill us. They'll definitely shoot you. <laughs> if you are a threat to them, they'll shoot you. Yeah, I think that's just a bit of uh, bravado for the camera. Can we call, like, uh, if we saw a fisherman chasing us, we can call Coast Guard? Yeah, well, we can try. And we'll definitely use the radio, and that's... Um, what One if they can um, reply, respond? We will pretend. Um, I will answer myself. Really? Yeah, you know, you know pan, 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 Jupiter 2, Jupiter 2, uh, a suspicious vessel following us. And then I'll go. Yeah, I'll copy that, Captain. Uh, we'll be right with you. And then, uh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but what, they will not hear that. I mean, not? the fisherman doesn't have a radio. They do. They do? And they have AIS, because they steal them off boats, so they have oh. all this gear. Twenty knots on the nose. Uh, we're as high as we can sail right now, and we're just laying our waypoint. I'm going to put up. We've only got the main up now. Double reef. Lumpy sea. Doing six knots. So we'll put up the storm jib, and the main reason is because we can really sheet that in hard, and we can point higher. So it's sort of more important that we point instead of go fast. So, uh, but it's really wet up on that foredeck. I'm going to get drowned. much work. Woo! Finally, we leave Mexico. Are you happy? Yeah. <laughs> now I thought my breath. Bye bye, Isla Mujeres. Home for three months. <laughs> so rough. Sitting on a 40 degrees apparent wind now. Well, it's not too bad actually, it's not too rough at all. Occasionally a bump in the road. 
waypoint that I've set in here is to avoid the worst of the currents yeah mm -hmm. uh, and by the way this first 50 miles is going to be the roughest because it's a little bit of wind against the Gulf Stream so after 50 miles maybe later today it should calm down Whoop. we've just hit, hit the worst of the current I would say Gulf Stream, so we're heading further north than we were before, and uh, the waves are really standing up. Uh, probably another 30 miles, and then we'll be out of it. Princess for cooking this. So all I gotta do, two and a half minutes to microwave, and we have a meal. And a good meal too. Well I think we're out of the Gulf Stream now. It's sort of got more consistent wave pattern now, so that's good. I mean, it's still pretty rough, but I mean, that's what upwind sailing is. And our angles at the moment are good uh, for Cayman, so that's great to have that option. Uh, we may stop. Depending on our speed, we may be there late tomorrow night or early the next day. Hopefully Princess keeps this down. She hasn't vomited yet, but she's been close. And in fact, I've been feeling a bit sick too. Which is rare, but it just shows it's rough. <laughs> A rough passage is really no fun for anyone. It is definitely fatiguing and can be dangerous moving around on slippery decks. My lovely wife feels sick nearly any time the boat is moving and sometimes even at anchor. I can't imagine the challenge for her. I'm gonna like can't 
couldn't troll it anymore. I guess you're going to have to do one of those things. Tank uh, Southport, Southport, this is sailing vessel Jupiter 2, Jupiter 2, 160. Jupiter 2, this is LMT and Southport, how are you calling me? I am, sir, uh, here we go, 1-0. Uh, one zero. One zero. MTM Southport, Jupiter 2 sailing vessel, about four miles off your uh, starboard bow. Uh, we will pass behind you, you can maintain your course and speed. Uh, sailing vessel, Jupiter 2, understand. Uh, you will pass my stand, I will keep my course and speed. Thank you, sir. Copy, Jupiter 2, back to 16. 16, we're coming up towards the end of the day. It's just three thirty in the afternoon, and doing quite nicely. I'm sitting on about six or seven knots. The wind's dropped a little bit. The wind's come back to generally under twenty knots apparent, but sometimes up to twenty threes. And I'm still carrying two reefs and the storm jib. Um, a few reasons for that. Uh, one, I'm still pointing up as high as we can, uh, comfortably. We can point up to about 40 degrees, but we would be pinching, we're slowing down. So we're sitting on 45 degrees, and that's taking us well north of our track, our required track, to Caymans which is in itself, is north of our track to our turning point, uh, just south of Jamaica. But the reason for that is because tomorrow the wind is supposed to go more easterly. So if we remain above our track now, it will be acceptable tomorrow to dive down more southerly. So that's the plan there. The other reason, it's still lumpy. Uh, this upwind bashing, so um, keeping it at six or seven knots for comfort. And of course, it'll be dark in an hour and a half or two hours, so we may uh, keep the reef in for the evening, the, the double reef and the storm jib. Let's just see what happens. If it drops off, of course, we'll shake it out, but the forecast is for it to remain, so that's that's fine. I guess we'll settle into the evening shortly. I'll do a, another inspection before it gets dark. I'll do a walk around, make sure everything's looking good. You hear that rattle? There's some rivets underneath the solar panels that have popped out, I guess, and uh, they just roll around. My God, it's annoying. Uh, but I'd need to drill out all the rivets and undo the solar panels uh, 
to get those loose ones. <laughs> I haven't done it yet. I think before the next big crossing, I'll definitely do it. Getting along really well now, doing about nine knots at 50 degrees apparent. And still tracking well north of our required track, just in case the wind goes east tomorrow, then we can head a bit south and that's okay. And it's a lovely evening. We've got 60% of a full moon up there. The sea's calmed down quite nicely. It's uh, there's not so many holes in it. It's really nice, actually. Yeah. Well, first night. Things are looking good. Exciting early morning, just two o'clock in the morning. The wind came up again on uh, Princess's shift, so I had to get up and put another reef in. So back to second reef in the storm ship. And we got lots of traffic to deal with. But with this, the wind and uh, the anxiety about the pirates, not that we're near that area yet, but still, it's in the back of your mind all the time. The princess is pretty nervous. But like my rest there, I had two, or maybe two hours, but she called me about five times during that two hours to uh, come and check on something. So, but we're, you know, we're getting along nicely. There's no big problem. 25 knots of wind now, and uh, we got the right amount of sail, so it's okay. It's okay. Oh well. Two o'clock. Be daylight in about four and a half hours. Maybe I can get some rest then.
blueberry surprise. Because <laughs> it's a surprise, what's in it? What is it? Chia. Uh, Chia seeds. It's pretty thick. Mm. Yummy, huh? Thank you, Bee. Cheers. Tastes like ice cream. So we are halfway through day two and we just got a knock. We're heading south, almost south. The wind's obviously gone east, east southeast. So we're not going to make payment on this tack now unless it changes miraculously. Um, and we've decided we will stop at Cayman. The reason being, if you remember on the forecast yesterday, the last forecast we got, it showed that Sunday would be no wind day uh, for at least six or eight hours before the northerly came. Well, if we were to keep going now, today's Friday, if we were to keep going now, we would be at the turn point on Sunday and the turn point is the closest we come to where the pirates are. So I don't want to be in that area and going slow or not going at all or motoring slow five knots, you know. I if when we go through the pirates I wanna be I want it to be doing twenty knots wind speed. I want us to be doing ten knots and I want it to be dark. So, we're going to stop at uh, Cayman at this stage, but it's going to take at least a couple of tacks now, and we're probably going to get there tomorrow afternoon. And then just spend one day, and then we can head off on Sunday afternoon. And Sunday afternoon is when the northerly should be coming in. So that's the plan now. setting for the second time on this trip and the second day. The sea is beautifully flat. The temperature is lovely. But we're going in the wrong direction. Can't have everything I guess. We are about 35 degrees off course. The wind has gone east southeast and it's forcing us way south and uh, yeah anyway things change all the time. See how long this one lasts. We've probably got at least a day and a half to correct it before it brings us too close to the pirate area. So, um, yeah, this time, this time. Just happy, it's a comfy sea, beautiful. Weather's looking lovely. It's gonna be uh, getting fuller moon. Bit of traffic though, with some ships that are always in our way.
Well, it's been a nice night of sailing, but wrong direction still. We're heading almost south when we should be southeast. And that puts us heading straight towards the pirates area. So we're gonna have to put in attack. I've uh, calculated a waypoint which keeps us at least 50 miles from where the pirates hang out. Um, on the banks, the Nicaraguan rise. So we'll tack before then. And I think we've got some adverse current too. So when we tack, it's going to be like almost going back the way we came. But anyway, it gets us away from the pirates and that's the, that's the point of it. So that's what we got to do. So this morning I will try and get some weather on the HF radio at uh, 9 o'clock. So I've got to set up the antenna and have a listen. My HF radio is not a permanent installation. Well, the radio is, but not the antenna. The main reason is um, I don't want to sacrifice the integrity of a shroud by adding the HF insulators. I did think about it recently when I did the stay lock fittings because they sell them. But then I also noticed that they were recalling the fitting because they must be <laughs> defective. So I'm just using a long wire, which I pull up with a halyard whenever I use the HF, which is usually, well, it's been South Atlantic crossings, the only time I've used it. In the last three years, you know, we've used it on one crossing. Got an idea that there is a weather report. I think it's Chris Parker's weather report. Maybe it's at five o'clock. So anyway, I'm putting up the antenna. But I just noticed the the positive antenna output is wobbly. So I just want to have a double check in there. So, although this is supposed to be waterproof, you know, yesterday there was just too many waves crashing over the boat, so I don't want to risk putting the antenna tuner here outside. But today's okay. Get back together. Make sure that seal is in the right spot. So I think I've decided I will get a permanent antenna, uh, but not on the shrouds, not on the on the rig. I will get the uh, the big whip, and that's you know it's like a twenty foot long antenna. I don't know where I can buy one, but I'll start looking around. Obviously, in the U.S., I could buy one, but. You know, you can't freight something that big cheaply.
And we're drawn tomorrow morning at probably north northeast. Um, but it's going to be a close reach, and it might force you to sail a little east southeast at times. But during the day tomorrow, there will be a decided back in the wind. So if you find that you